Want to learn about stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and the metaverse? Join richtv.io. Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live. And go to our website, richtv.io, an ecosystem built by investors, for investors, and learn about cryptocurrency, stocks, NFTs, and so much more, absolutely free. You can even upgrade and become a VIP member and join our trading school. Now we have some huge, huge, huge updates for WonderFi technologies. Put them on your radar, put them on your watch list. WNDR in Canada, WONDF in America. Now, huge acquisition of Blockchain Foundry, a Toronto-based company that is in the NFT space and in blockchain education. We love NFTs here at Rich TV Live. We love cryptocurrencies. We love cryptocurrency education. And we love WonderFi Technologies. WonderFi Technologies has also acquired Bitbuy and Coinberry. So this is a list of acquisitions that continue to impress with a company that is really focused on regulations and doing things legally and properly, which is one of the reasons why we are, full disclosure, a shareholder in WonderFi, and one of the reasons why we believe that their future looks bright. In addition, they've also made the application to the NASDAQ, so they have incredible opportunities coming in the future. Let's take a look at all the news right here, right now, exclusively on Rich TV. All right, let's talk about the news. WonderFi to acquire Blockchain Foundry in an all-stock deal. So a lot of people have been asking me about this deal. A lot of people asking me for their opinion. A lot of people want to know if they overpaid, if they underpaid. What do you think of this deal? Do you think this makes them better? So first and foremost, I want to remind everyone that you can go to richtv.io, an ecosystem built by investors for investors. You can start for free and learn about companies like WonderFi Technologies that are undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed, and learn all that's going on with those companies. So for example, you just go to WonderFi Technologies. We have 61 members in there and growing, and you can go in there and chat and talk and communicate with other members from all over the world and talk about all the biggest breaking news. Now let's talk about Blockchain Foundry. So this is a deal that, could be a big winner for them. And despite the ongoing crypto winter, WonderFi remains active in its acquisition strategy, entering an agreement to acquire Toronto-based Blockchain Foundry. Here's their website, blockchainfoundry.com. In an all-share deal, so it hasn't cost them any cash. And WonderFi said it expects around 26.2 million of its common shares to be issued to shareholders of BCF as consideration representing approximately 13.4% of the issue and outstanding shares of WonderFi. Love to know what you think. Do you think this is a good deal? Should they be doing this with stock? A spokesperson for WonderFi told Betakit that BCF's acquisition is worth around 12.6 million Canadian. Founded in 2016, BCF, Blockchain Foundry, develops and commercializes blockchain-based business solutions with a focus on infrastructure for digital assets and NFTs. NFTs are non-fungible tokens. If you've been watching Rich TV or you've been following me on social media, I've been collecting and talking about NFTs a lot. And it's exciting to see that they're getting very heavily involved here is WonderFi with digital assets and NFTs. Company also provides blockchain consulting services to corporate clients. So love to know what you think about this acquisition of Blockchain Foundry. Led by CEO Dan Waziluk, BCF trades on the Canadian Securities Exchange, OTC Markets, and the Frankfurt Stock Exchange. Earlier this year, BCF launched Last Known, an NFT minting platform and marketplace. So you can see here they break down their NFTs and decentralized finance, consulting services, new products, and latest news and press. So yes, yeah, so they launched last known a NFT minting platform and marketplace for NFTs. Most recently, BCF partnered with private investment firm, the Palmer Group, to launch a beta version of Metacademy. So you go to their website and you can see here, there's last known and there's Metacademy. You wanna learn more, just click on read more 
and you can learn more about these products. So an educational platform focused on hands-on learning about Web3. And we love what we see with Web3 and we love everything to do with NFTs. For the remainder of the year, BCF said it will be dedicating its time to further developing Last Known and Met Academy, while also bringing two other products to market, NF Keys, a token gating solution, and Foundry Swap, BCF solution to connecting tokens from Syscoin's NEVM blockchain to its base UTXO blockchain without the need for third-party software. BCF's acquisition, according to the company, will add immediate scale to its product suite through Wonderfy's user base across its BitBuy and Coinberry platforms. Now, Wonderfy's done an amazing job with these acquisitions. You can see this is a symbol on the TSX, Toronto Stock Exchange, WNDR. They also announced that they are going to make the application and hopefully upgrade to the NASDAQ. You can see under its brands, BitBuy, Coinberry, and Unify, Wonderfy provides access to the best that the crypto ecosystem has to offer and now you can add Blockchain Foundry to the mix. So you can see the symbols here in Canada, the TSX, WNDR on the OTCQB, WONDF, and in Frankfurt, Germany, A3C166, and on FTX, a tokenized security, WNDR. So this is BitBuy, and a lot of people have been asking me about the BitBuy deal. I think this is a good deal, and we're going to talk about why. Vancouver-based Wonderfy, which trades on the Toronto Stock Exchange, OTC Markets, and FSC, provide access to digital assets such as crypto, DeFi, gaming, and NFTs in a compliant and regulated environment. Wonderfy recently submitted an application to list its common shares on the NASDAQ, which we're really excited about. Capital Markets citing plans to accelerate its international expansion strategy, as well as attract global institutional and retail investors. In March, Wonderfy closed its acquisition of BitBuy in a deal worth $206 million. It later completed its purchase of Coinberry in July, allocating $38.5 million in Wonderfy stock for the transaction. So this is BitBuy, a crypto destination of investors. And BitBuy's website looks like this, bitbuy.ca. And you can learn more right on their website. You can see you can download it on the App Store or Google Play. 400,000 plus Canadians served, 5 billion in crypto traded, and you can see where they've been featured and regulated, and you can buy a bit, sell a bit, and these are some of the tokens that you can purchase, trade, buy and sell on BitBuy. So lots of different coins, fast funding and withdrawals with Canadian funds. They do Interact, credit card, and bank wire. Canada secure and trusted platform, very important that they're safe and secure, compliant and regulated, transparent and competitive. And that's what Wonderfy is trying to do is they're trying to really be a compliant exchange, which really has never been done before at this level that Wonderfy is trying to do it. Ben Samaru, CEO of Wonderfy Technologies. And if you go to About Us, you can learn more about their team and partners. Click on team and partners and there's Ben Samaru right there. So what do you have to say about this acquisition and about some of these deals? It said the current economic conditions in the crypto market have made it attractive for Wonderfy to be able to acquire companies like Blockchain Foundry. Once again, this is the website for Blockchain Foundry and acquisitions, which have the potential to complement Wonderfy's core operating crypto asset trading platforms, BitBuy and Coinberry. So we showed you a little bit about BitBuy. This is BitBuy, and this is Coinberry's website, coinberry.com. So lots of good acquisitions. And I like the fact that they are acquiring these assets in a bear market. That could mean that they are underpaying for some of these assets. So it's good to see that they're doing this while also adding cash. So they added cash to these transactions, liquid digital assets, and a portfolio of private emerging crypto investments to Wonderfy's balance sheet. Since Wonderfy's purchase of BitBuy, Samrud said in June that Wonderfy has reduced its staff across two businesses by between 15 and 20%. As reported in Wonderfy's third quarter financial results in 2022, BitBuy's full quarter report was included in Wonderfy's consolidated results for the first time. According to Wonderfy, it's continuing to optimize BitBuy operations, including strategic alignment, 
of technology and resources. As of June, WonderFi reports it has 356 million in total assets. It's pretty impressive considering they're just getting started and they've been around for about a year. 356 million in total assets, including 15 million in cash and 5.6 million in crypto assets and inventory. It also holds 187 million of assets under custody for customers. So I'd love to know what you think about these transactions. Do you like these transactions? Uh, I would love to get your opinion. Do you think that they overpaid for this? Do you think that they underpaid? Do you think that this is going to age well? You can see here uh, the acquisitions of BitBuy and Coinberry and how they've really beefed up WonderFi. And now the acquisition of Blockchain Foundry, really giving them an entrance into the NFT space and very excited to see how they're going to be able to, you can see here with last known, a curated multi-chain digital asset marketplace for artists looking to develop their art into NFTs through a customized NFT minting platform. So very excited. They're going to have a big focus on NFTs because I absolutely love NFTs. And with Met Academy, the world's First to earn while you learn cryptocurrency and NFT courses. You'll understand everything by doing it. Practice without worrying about mistakes, scams, or dead ends. Do it yourself, step-by-step, step, and risk-free. So I love the idea of educating people and the public and investors about cryptos, about NFTs. Uh, they are very risky. Full disclosure, I want to make sure that everyone knows that I am a shareholder of WonderFi. I am a holder of NFTs. I'm a holder of crypto. So... Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV. If you'd like to join our website and ecosystem, you can absolutely free at richtv.io, where you're going to learn about different opportunities like WonderFi Technologies with our ecosystem and community of investors from all over the world. And love to know what you think about these acquisitions, about these deals, and the direction that WonderFi is going. Very excited to hear that they are making the application to the NASDAQ and that they are getting deeply rooted in all areas of cryptocurrencies and NFTs. What do you guys think of the news? What do you think about this update? If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring in the news, we bring in the analysis, we bring in the education, and we'd like to bring it to you first. Love to know what you think. It's your boy Rich from Rich TV. What do you think about WonderFi's acquisition of Blockchain Foundry? Are you experiencing the WonderFi difference? No exposure to risky lending platforms, access to top DeFi tokens and indexes, and really a focus on being compliant, which is what is, in my opinion, going to separate WonderFi technologies from a lot of the competitors in the marketplace. And I love the strategic investors and partners here. Sam Bankman-Fried, one of the biggest, most well-recognized and successful people in the crypto space and the founder of FTX Exchange, Kevin O'Leary, obviously uh, Dragon's Den, Shark Tank, a strategic investor with WonderFi and Josh Richards, young entrepreneur who has a huge following, Leonard Latchman, strategic investor. So some big names and big brains working behind the scenes and working at the front of WonderFi Technologies and promotional partners. How can you not know Kyle Lowry? Uh, winning a championship for the Toronto Raptors really has changed his life and everyone who is a Toronto Raptors fan's life. He's a promotional partner. And Devlin DeFrancesco, a promotional partner as well with WonderFi Technologies. All right, what do you guys think of the news? We'll keep you guys updated. If there's any other interviews or any big news that happens with WonderFi Technologies, we'll bring it to you first. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. It's your boy Rich from Rich TV. And I'm out.